Dan in Texas, you're on the air worldwide. Go ahead, uh, you're on the air, Dan. All right, yeah, I was calling in. Uh, basically, I'm a fan of Mr. Cook. I saw the uh, Challenger Revealed book up here. It looks like a great read. Uh, my question for Mr. Cook is, basically, what do you think, as far as the economy, we do about slime ball, degenerate, who would love to make a penny off of the tragedy of September 11th, and lies of loose change like Alex Jones and Jason Burmese? Uh, okay, you, uh, hey, hey, listen, I, l- l- listen I appreciate you you calling, sir. You can call me back when I'm just taking calls, and we can do that. Well, what do you do about slime balls that make money? Obviously, I need to make money to be able to defend ourselves, uh, sue people that slander us, pay my employees, and, yeah, so I can live comfortably and take care of my family. I make films. I go out and shoot interviews like anybody else who has a political view, and then I make them free and advertise they're free on the web, and then I'm bad when I am at higher standards than anyone uh, else. So So people can go to your website. Yeah, absolutely. Please go to InfoWars.com. In fact, uh, listen, I appreciate your call. I'm going to say this to you, Dan. Um... In fact, I didn't plug the, in the videos today. I should have. I'm going to take time out right now. I didn't want to cut into Mr. Cook's time. Actually, we need more capital. Uh, people would think we just need to work from a ditch with a tin can and a string uh, here. I don't plug my videos enough. Buy all the books and videos we have. Give us donations if you'd like. Support us. I want to get a bigger office, hire more people, do more stories, support more activist groups. Uh, the asinine statement. Uh, I mean, I bring on all these other activist groups and tell you to support them when I'm not getting any gain from it. This is about survival. Let me, let me give you a tip, sir. I didn't do nine hours of radio yesterday because I want dirty money. I'm trying to tell my wife we're not evacuating the country. I'm trying to face my possible imprisonment or death. I'm living in the real world. And then you say, what do you do about scumbags that profit from 9-11? How dare you imply we were involved in the attacks? How dare you imply we're here risking our lives, our names, being death-threaded to make films we put out for free? But yes, Loose Change Final Cut has still not made its money back. The people that made it are almost homeless. Please buy Loose Change Final Cut from us immediately to support us. Yeah, you know, I wish I had more time with that caller. We're going to take a few more calls from Mr. Cook. But it is such a asinine argument. You know, let's not deal with where there are bombs in Building 7. Let's not deal with how they're building FEMA camps, and it's in the major paper, and congressmen are coming out and saying 9-11 was an inside job. Let's talk about how it's bad. Let's talk about how it's a bad thing uh, for me to be able to buy a $800 microphone so the audio is good to you. Let's, let's, you know, let's have... How do you think the government takes our money and uses it to attack us and wage war on us? Wage war on us. And then I'm here making films that actually, in many cases, lose money. I use advertising money that comes from the radio to pay for them. I put them on the Google video for free. We have a prisonplanet.tv if you want to pay 15 cents so we can pay for the bandwidth to get it to you in high quality. We tell you to make copies of the DVDs. And then we're bad. But uh, the government can put out its 9-11 commission report, pure lies, and sell it for 15 bucks. Well, the founders actually said limited government to guard against bigger government and corrupt interests using the mechanisms of government for themselves. We need an understanding, a renaissance of the structures of government, and we need money. We need power. The globalists control the issuance. The private Federal Reserve owns the issuance of our currency. They own the money machines, and then they tell us on the news, it's their favorite thing, anybody criticizing the government, they just make money off of criticizing America. No, we're trying to save the country, and we need money. And then when I get those calls, I get mad because I'm like, my God, I've just done hours and hours of a show and haven't plugged my videos, which aren't just how we fund ourselves. They're powerful. They're effective. Mr. Cook needs to be supported. You know, if we had the capital, we could be more effective. We need to support alternative media and global research, and we are changed. Uh, I don't say this for the theatrics and the effect. I mean, I get death threats. I've been physically attacked. I've had stuff happen to me you can't even believe. Uh, You know, Dr. Horowitz has had the FBI at his house. I've had Secret Service here. I mean, my family's really worried. This is this is serious business. We're not doing this to play games. Uh, you know, we're human. We joke around. We screw around. 
Uh, I'm not perfect. I wish I did a better job. But but this is life and death. Uh, this isn't about being a big shot and having some movies out there. I've got to be as big as I can be just to make sure my life was worth something and try to save people. I mean, th this is serious. You've got to do that. I mean, th you see everything we talked about came true? You see how it's all happening? They told us in all their own documents, CFR, Trilateral Commission, World Bank documents. I mean, we're in trouble, folks. They're building camps. And I just, I, you know, we're a decadent, slothful, pig-like society. Not all of us, but the, you know, the vast majority. And they're just like stomach. Like, they think America is like a amusement park, and suddenly stuff costs more, and suddenly they can't buy as much beer. But still, they just uh, everything will be all right. It isn't going to be all right until these bad guys get out of here. They're not going to stop squeezing. I mean, they want to hurt you. They're into that. You understand there's bad men? You understand? No, you don't know history. Well, I know most of you do, but our viewers do, but a lot of you new people watching, giggling on YouTube and stuff. I remember a year ago writing articles for PrisonPlanet.com, Infoworks.com, people on the dig comments and on the message board going, you piece of trash, liar, lying about the dollar, lying about the war costing too much, lying, trying to bring down our nation, our Federal Reserve cares, George Bush cares, you liberal trash. People to counter them. No, no, no. They don't believe in left and right. No, 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 no. This is this is a military consolidation. This is conquest by an elite. Shut up, commie. The guys at CENTCOM writing that and their minions and fellow travelers, you're going to be hurt by all this. You, I remember them bragging, going, "Yeah, it's about oil in Iraq. We're going to have lower prices." They attacked Iraq the first time, told him to go ahead and invade Kuwait because there were new articles in the news in 1990 about Saddam over pumping, selling too much, driving down the price, 85, 90 cents a gallon. OPEC got pissed. That's why they invaded him. You think it's about oil? It is about oil. It's about cutting the flow off, dummies. That's your opinion, liberal commie. Uh, Associated Press, 2001. Hundreds of pages of documents of the oil companies planning all this with OPEC. I mean, it's not my opinion. It's not my opinion. You're not conservatives at Free Republic and Michelle Malkin and all of you. It's not funny, folks. The BATF being tripled in size is not cute. Open borders is not cute. Saying there's no North American Union. Rush Limbaugh saying the CFR didn't exist for 15 years and now saying it does, but it's good. That isn't funny. I told you Rush Limbaugh would endorse Hillary Clinton five years ago. Not because he wants to screw up the nomination. Watch what happens with this election. Watch how you get taken. No, he did that because he's published by the CFR, his books. He did that because Roger Ailes is advising and at the highest levels running the Hillary campaign with Rupert Murdoch. And then it came out in the news after a study. But you're not going to figure that out till it's too late, are you? You're never going to figure any of it out. You don't want to. You want to lose. You want to lose your family. You want to lose your bank account. And you want to just keep kissing the ass of these, of these, of these scumbags. I'm out of time. God bless you all. Retransmission at InfoWars.com. The same stream you're listening to, we are about to go right into the 15 minutes into the first hour. Amazing uh, show. If you missed any of it, please get this out to everybody. I want to beat these people. I want to win. God bless you all. See you back live tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. I only did four hours and 15 minutes of radio today, not nine hours. So this is an easy day for me. Bye-bye.